Did anyone ever bully you for following your passion? Because I sure was. Back in middle school, YouTube wasn't really a career. You see, when posting a video as creators, we are extremely vulnerable to the public because we not only put our personality on the line, but also our biggest fears. So we tend to never actually talk to anyone about our channels because we don't want anyone to give us a negative feedback. And so, while making this video, I was curious to see what other creators went through in their story. Hi, I'm Griffin. My name's Julian. What's up? My name is Dean Lagapana. Hi, I'm Ash. What was your biggest fear coming up as a YouTube creator? I think that as kids, we all find something that we are really passionate about. Maybe it's acting, music, or school in general. And so for me, that passion was watching YouTube videos. Watching creators just made me feel a part of something way bigger than only me. And so my first ever banger, you can imagine, it was a shoe unboxing. From arranging the lights in my room, to making a mid-video ad rule for Pepsi, I was experimenting with my creative personality in general. So you understand. I was in the beginning. So imagine this situation in which the video goes live. I am super stoked and pumped about the entire thing because I was so proud of what I created. And after a couple of hours, I see these comments. My friends or who I thought they were my friends were trashing on the video instantly. Not only those comments, but the next day when I arrived at school, one of the guys actually ran out to congratulate me on what a shit and cringe video I did. All right, all right, all right. I have to agree with them on something. The video, it was actually cringe and trap. But still, I was a young boy. While my story is definitely an interesting one, I think it would be worth it for you guys to listen to what my friends had to say about the same problem in their journeys. So let's see. I barely talk to my friends about my stuff now, even though I'm proud of it. I tell them about it, I just don't talk to them about it too much. Yeah, no, definitely, man. Like, I had that. I didn't want people to know I was really embarrassed. I was really ashamed of it. What my friends are gonna say when they see me on my video. Making sure that, as I felt like my videos were cringy. You know what I mean? And once they see it, it's like, it's even more cringy. Fear of other people finding my channel and getting bullied. I think that was a big fear when entering YouTube. At that time, I thought it was just a bad joke, and this idea would have been just forgotten in a couple of months. You may ask yourself, what I actually reach with this? Well, I kind of was accepted by everyone. I was friends with everyone. Everyone was liking me. To this day, I still get some of those questions like, Milan, how are your videos doing? I'm like, great, dude. What do you think? Funny fact, I still continued posting videos for some reason. No joke, I actually had a phase in 10th grade when I started posting three videos a week for like a month. The videos were really cringe, but the goal was that I actually started learning how to make videos. And as always, while scrolling down the YouTube rabbit hole, I found this video of this guy that had an actually amazing thumbnail. I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, let's watch this. You know who it was? If you guess Kelly Wakasa, you are right. This cheeky dude actually got me with his personality from the beginning. And not only that he was a great creator, but he actually had a why and a reason for why he was doing the videos. That reason circled around this three word quote, which was Do what excites. 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 And so after obsessing over his content for a couple of days, I decided to make my life's mission this phrase. So I spent my three years of savings on this camera and I did everything my power Power to set myself up for success. But sadly, there was a price I needed to pay. And I only realized this a couple of weeks ago. You see, as a person, I always try to be positive and enthusiastic about pretty much everything. And even sometimes neglecting the consequences, to be honest. And so, as I always do, I came to university, fulfilled my entire schedule as much as I could, and realized studying, working a part-time job at McDonald's, editing for other creators, and also making videos for my own channel wasn't really possible. But that actually wasn't my biggest problem. I really felt like I arrived at a huge crossroad in my life. Try to imagine a triangle that has three points. One of them is cool or a job. The second one is social life. And the third one is your passion. And goddamn, you can only choose two out of three. So I sacrificed. But was it worth it? With a channel under a thousand subscribers, not even close to being ever monetized and my shoe unboxing still being my most viewed video of all time I was deeply thinking if I made the right choice and then out of nowhere I found a community of creators with the same passion as me the passion of making it big on YouTube and believe it or not the fact that I joined creator now was the best decision because it helped me overcome my fear even more I'm proud to say that I actually grew up into the guy that I always wanted to be a person that knows what he wants in life. I know for sure that I set myself up to prove everyone wrong. And so now I can finally say it confidently that I'm a YouTuber and that I will do everything that stands in my power to become the best YouTuber that I can possibly be. So now, I feel like it's the moment for me to request you 
to subscribe. So please, subscribe to my channel. I love y'all.